So Sagittarius, basically you were blindsided by someone. I feel like this person never really expressed how they felt to you or this is somebody who was stuck here. I definitely feel like this is an ex. This is somebody who could have had a family or they could have been married. But this person, I feel like they haven't moved on from you. They haven't let you go. They have not released you because it's like this is somebody who feels like they didn't choose their head over their heart. They have so many decisions they could have made. They could have done so many things things differently in the past but they chose to choose conveniency over something that could have lasted for a very long time this is somebody who was hurt depressed unclear about what decisions to make what choices to make this is somebody who chose somebody who is untrustworthy unfaithful unloyal unreliable you know somebody who is very jealous and i feel like this feminine energy doesn't like you or has a very hard time really involving herself with you because this person clearly sees how your person loves you okay so i want y'all to see how the cards were so we have the two of swords the ten of cups and the ace of cups in the reverse which is letting me know like this person did not choose their head over heart this is somebody who s chose to settle for a situation here but it's like there's clearly no love here it's like the person that they're with they can feel that there's no love they can feel that this masculine energy's heart is somewhere else because they don't feel it with this person like there's definitely good times and good moments in this relationship but it's like at the end of the day this is a masculine energy who did not choose their heart and the heart that they have for you or the love that they have for you has not died y'all show a very strong connection here sag but it's like because this person chose their head over their heart or failed to make a decision it's like they've been stuck here this is somebody who has been stuck in a relationship with somebody or keeps going back to a loveless relationship because it's like they settle for somebody who's very dishonest, very untrustworthy. Somebody who tries to block them or stop them from going after what they want. Somebody who tries to control their life, you know? And it's like, this is somebody who chose this person. They may have thought that they'd done what was best for them in that moment, but it's like at the end of the day, Sag, this is somebody who didn't have enough clarity about you, didn't really get to know you you they didn't really get to spend time with you or at least enough time with you this is somebody who pretty much misjudged you and i feel like at the end of the day this woman doesn't like you because she clearly sees how this person views you this person views you as the nine of pentacles very strong very independent you're single, you're beautiful, you're growing constantly, you're a great mother, you do what you have to do, you know, and at the end of the day, this is somebody who je definitely didn't choose their head over their heart, they chose a more logical situation, they chose to be in an unhappy marriage or an unhappy relationship because they were struggling, or because they knew that this woman would literally sit around and do whatever it is that they would ask, they knew that this woman didn't have to need love from them, or didn't need attention, or didn't need affection or reassurance for them, they knew that they can abandon and ghost this person and be in and out of this person's life whenever they wanted to, and it was never any karma or actions to that it's definitely like this is somebody who clearly knows that they chose somebody due to the fact that they were you know they were toxic or they were lost they chose somebody who they may have felt were convenient with they know that they played a lot of mind games with you this is somebody who knows you wouldn't have allowed them to play games with you who wouldn't have allowed you you wouldn't have allowed this person to be in and out of their life it's like this is somebody who couldn't choose their head over their heart they chose a more convenient more reliable more stable person they may have even had children with this person but it's like at the end of the day they didn't choose their heart they didn't choose their heart they didn't speak up they didn't express how they felt to you they chose somebody that they feel tied to that they feel bound to they chose somebody that they can never fully love because it's like the one that they love has gotten away it's like at the end of the day you are so much you are so beautiful you are the blessing in this person's life and it's like this person's stressed because at the end of the day all they can do is think about you and how they want your forgiveness and how this person wants another chance and how this person knows that they deceived you and they hurt you and they and they really played with you this person knows that and they're taking accountability this person knows that they owe you an apology because you are loyal because you're loving because you're nurturing you never deserved what they put you through 
they you never deserve they watch you not because they really want to stop you but because they genuinely care about you they want to know what you got going for yourself they see you strong this is somebody who really looks up to you sag they speak highly of you they went in the other direction sag if you could see the way the knight of swords i mean nine of wands and that's a player energy if you could see the way that this person was it was like this is how the cards would face when i did the reading give me a second this is how the cards were faced. It was like you were looking at this person. You clearly knew this person was playing mind games because this person didn't want for you to walk away. This person didn't know what decision to make. So this person chose to keep you and this other energy around. But it's like this person see how strong you were, which is why this two of swords is here. That energy of not really knowing how to choose, not really picking, not making a decision. You know, this person didn't choose this karmic energy over you. You chose to separate yourself. You pushed this person pushed you away, but it's like at the end of the day, this person pushed you away only to not be able to let you go, only to not be able to move on, only to be stuck on you and still think about you till this day. I feel like for guy, most of you guys in Scorpio season, you will be receiving an apology from this person. Because this is somebody that really sees your value, sees you for you. You've seen this person for this person. I got emotional in your reading, Sag. Because this person genuinely loved you. And this person wished that they could have made smarter decisions and smarter choices here. But it's like at the end of the day, this person knew that they you were just a distraction from the pain that they were going through. When this person couldn't do right, they'll come back to you. This is somebody who knew they had feelings for you. But they chose to choose their head over their heart. We need to let each other go. I hope that one day you can forgive me. I wish I could take back my words. I knew exactly what I was doing. Just being near you makes me nervous. It's intoxicating. You make me shy. You make me vulnerable. You make me feel things I'm not normally used to feeling. I can't stop thinking about you. You're all I can think about because I let you get away. I let you get away. I should have been clear. I should have been honest. I should have been upfront. I should have been truthful to myself. And I should have chose what I felt over what I did or what I thought would have been better for me. I should have chose my heart over my head. And now I wonder if you will ever forgive me. Because I'm stuck. And I can't go nowhere in life if it's not with you. <laughs> 